So, now we have three type of monsters inside the neutrophil. We have this oxygen superoxide twin monster, they are really dangerous, really dangerous really. Re reactive oxygen species are the reason that we, we experience problems. H2O2 hydrogen peroxide again a big monster here C2 hydrogens and two the, this twin attached to them and then hypochlorite or bleach which is also a big monster. Now, so I am going to make hypochlorite as well. This is a big, big scary monster. I do not know if it really looks scary, but anyways this is a big scary monster. So, it has three scary monsters which are sitting in the system. Remember macrophage actually does not have this third one because it does not have myeloperoxidase. Myeloperoxidase enzyme is needed, myeloperoxidase enzyme is needed to have this reaction where we make bleach. Macrophage does not have it. Macrophage has two monsters, neutrophil has three monsters. Now, what do they do? These monsters are going to be they are going to be remember that friend of or not really a very good friend of ours who actually thinks that we have offered him this phagosome in which he can have fun the pathogen right. And remember we said that we would be attack, attaching the lysosome with it the primary granules. So, guess what in addition to the collagenases and elastases and, and proteases which are the digestive enzymes in addition to those who is coming? The twin oxygen monster is coming, this is superoxide. Who is coming? Hydrogen, hydrogen monster is coming, H2O2. This guy is going to eat him up. Who else is coming? The biggest monster is coming, scary one, bleach, HOCl these monsters are going to make into the phagosome. So, once those scary monsters come in the phagosome, they are going to eat up the bacteria, break it down into smaller products and done, bacteria is gone. So, that is one very important process, but this process needs oxygen. Of course, these are reactive oxygen species, this needs oxygen. There is another way, this bacteria, this bacteria can be killed so, let us make another mildly happy bacteria. So, this bacteria has looked at the fate of the guy above who has now gotten some monsters attack, attacking him. So, this is not really feeling very comfortable in this situation, but he knows I am in a tub as well. So, soon something is going to come and attach. So, once again the primary granules the same one when this granule or lysosome comes and attaches here. The chemical substances which can come and digest this bacteria are collagenase and the cathepsins and the proteases and neutral proteases and acidic proteases and so on. So, many digestive enzymes are going to come and attack this bacteria and kill it. Cathepsins by the way are the protein degrading proteins, enzymes which can degrade and uh, proteins. So, nothing. So, most of this enzymes. So, these are the engaging systems or damaging systems which can work without the oxygen as well. Do you know that recently some scientists have found a third mechanism by which neutrophil kills the pathogens? It is really cool, I was blown away when I read that. So, let us see how that works. This neutrophil throws chemical substances out in the extracellular fluid in the extra in the tissue. Why did I say extracellular tissue uh, fluid tissue? So, th this is this mechanism is called net neutrophilic extracellular traps. What these are are these are proteins which are thrown out by the neutrophil these protein trap the pathogen. So, pathogen is really sad now, why is he sad? He is trapped in this net, neutrophilic 
extracellular trap neutrophilic neutrophilic extra cellular traps this is where neutrophil is sending chemical substances outside which are making nets these nets would tangle the bacteria in them and kill them so one they reduce the spread of bacteria or the pathogen and secondly they entangle them and then kill them so this is a third mechanism which has been identified really cool mechanism i really am impressed that how the medical sciences and the sciences in general is making progress so this is how the neutrophil is going to be killing a very quick note about so this is the primary granule so the most important thing in the primary granule is the myeloperoxidase which helps us make halogenating substances for example bleach so interesting that bleach is the last antibiotic we use to kill the pathogens we use we, every cell has its own little bleach or makes its own little bleach and kills the substance the other are the secondary granules and tertiary granules so the secondary gra granules in them have lactoferrins lactoferrin very important what does that do so you know that a major uh, an important part of bacteria is made up of iron as well right so bacteria really love to eat iron and you know that one part of our defense mechanism innate mechanism is to actually take iron away and store it into macrophages right and that reduction in iron would then cause bacteria not to have iron to develop remember uh, in the chronic diseases we develop anemia which is called anemia of chronic disease do you know why because our body thinks that it is under attack by some pathogen to reduce the pathogen what it does is it takes the iron and stores it away in the bone marrow macrophages once it is stored away we have iron but it is not in circulation and it is not available to make any cells so ultimately the dividing cells feel the deficiency of iron especially the red blood cells which need iron to make hemoglobin and we get anemia that is what is the anemia of chronic diseases body thinking that it is fighting pathogens and storing the iron away so keeping the same note here is the lactoferrin what does lactoferrin does so it's not really clear exactly how it works but what they say is that the lactoferrin when that goes into this phagosome it pulls the iron out of the bacteria it chelates the iron present in the bacteria and bacteria dies so the bacteria thinks he's an iron man you know so he's running around he's an iron man he has iron he's strong and here comes the lactoferrin and pulls the iron out it's like a big magnet which pulls the iron out of the bacteria and the bacteria dies right so remember uh, in the x men movies in one of the one of the movie there there was a guy who has the magnet huge big magnet and it pulls all the heme uh, iron out of the person so this is what is going to happen here so very important thing again non oxygen dependent mechanism of killing a pathogen then we have the um, tertiary granules they have cathepsins cathepsins are nothing but protein killing proteins or enzymes and gelatinases so they are also enzymes which would be causing degradation these are all digestive enzymes so most important enzymes are sitting in the primary ones then we have secondary and tertiary granules as well so cathepsin cathepsin i keep making all of them as stars so let's make this guy like a box cathepsin and gelatinase is present here lactoferrin is present in the secondary and primary one has gotten elastases collagenases acid proteases neutral proteases myeloperoxidase and so on so these are the killing factories or substances present inside a neutrophil which would cause the pathogen to be degraded so three mechanism oxygen dependent reactive oxygen species and bleach oxygen independent where digestive enzymes work and nets where we trap the bacteria and kill it